Hi, I'm Alejandro Alba with the New York Daily News, and this is Tech Thursday, where each week we give you a rundown of the latest news in the tech world. Instagram is no longer just a photo app. This week, the Facebook-owned company launched At Music, a new account dedicated to exploring music around the globe and feature up-and-coming artists. So if you're tired of the top 40 musical hits, then go to Instagram and explore some new music. Are you lonely? Then buy a selfie stick arm. Yes, these do exist. The selfie arm project introduces the first selfie stick that looks like a human arm. It's ideal for taking pictures of yourself and making it seem like you have a significant other holding your hand. You probably also have a lot of explaining to do on social media. If you live in Manhattan, then Uber will now deliver your food. Pace Taxi Service launched its food delivery service Uber Eats this week and promises to deliver food on foot or bike within 10 minutes. The service is only being offered between 14th and 40th streets in Manhattan, but the company does hope to expand. NASA's Messenger space probe is saying goodbye. More than a decade of science and exploration will come to an end this week as the space probe slams into the surface of Mercury. NASA expects the probe to run out of fuel and then hit Mercury at a speed of around 9,000 miles per hour. Messenger has been around the Sun and has been past Earth, Mercury, and Venus. The collision is expected on Thursday. Are you waiting for your Apple Watch to ship? Well, that's because some units contain faulty parts. The Wall Street Journal reported faulty parts from one supplier slowed down the shipments. The faulty parts were the watch's taptic engine, which is a part that allows for notifications to simulate the effect of being tapped on the wrist. It was reported that Apple threw out some of these units and ordered some more. The next shipment is expected sometime in June. Microsoft's new internet browser finally has a name and a new logo. Explorer's successor will be called Microsoft Edge, and it was announced as a browser built for doing with built-in note-taking and sharing. The new logo really resembles the old Internet Explorer logo, but let's just hope that the actual program doesn't. That's all the news that we have for today, so make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch next week's Tech Thursday when we give you a rundown of the latest news in the tech world. So if you're tired of the top, wait, let me do that one too. If you're tired of the top 40 musical hits, then you might as well. Uh, tired of the top? Is it just top 40? Yeah, right. It's like, buy a selfie stick arm. <laughs> All the news that we have today, for today, second Thursday. We have today. All the news that we have. Ah, I can't say four.